the functions f and j are defined on the set of real numbers by so we have f of x so we have f of x f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 then g of x equal 5x g of x is equal to 5x now we are supposed to find g circle g circle f inverse of x f inverse of x meaning that we need to find the inverse of f of x so what we do is we let we let y equal f of x which is 2x minus 1 so to find the inverse of this function we need to interchange we need to interchange and make y the subject so let's interchange if the, 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 let's interchange x and y so we get x to be equal to 2y minus 1 so making x a subject we have x plus 1 making y the subject we have x plus 1 equal to y so y will now be equal to x plus 1 over 2 now we are finding g circle f inverse of x so this implies that our f inverse of x our f inverse of x is equal to x plus 1 over 2 now to find g circle f of x f inverse of s is the same as g of f inverse of x so the function g of x equal f 5 times x to operate on the inverse function which is x plus 1 so this will be equal to 5 times whenever we, we see x we place x plus 1 over 2 so x plus 1 over 2 now let's look at the b the point negative 3b lies on this curve so we are looking for the value of b so if this point lies on this curve it must satisfy it, it must satisfy its equation so the equation is 2y is equal to 2x cubed plus x squared minus 4x plus 3 so we substitute x equal x equal negative 3 and y equal b so we get 2b is equal to 2 into bracket negative 3 to the power 3 then plus negative 3 squared then we have minus 4 times negative 3 then plus 3 now this will simplify to 2b is equal to negative 54 minus that is plus 9 then plus 12 plus 3 now this will give us 2b is equal to negative 
30. So we must have our B. B is equal to negative 15. Now let's look at the final one over here. We have the integral from 0 to 2 of x over square root of 1 plus x. I want to integrate this. So we use a substitution. We must make a suitable substitution in the denominator. So if you let if you let u to be equal to square root of 1 plus x then this will imply that u squared is equal to 1 plus x. We need to look for the x. So we need to differentiate this to obtain the x. So differentiating this with respect to x implicitly we get 2u du is equal to our t u dx 2u dx 2u du dx is equal to 1. So multiply through by dx as we are treating it as a differential to obtain 2u du is equal to dx. So we substitute everything into the integral. But before that, we need to change the limit. When u, when x is equal to 0, so when x equals 0, when x equals 0, u will be equal to square root of 1 plus 0, 1 plus 0, and this will give us 1. And when x is equal to, when x is equal to 2, then u will be equal to square root of 3. So we substitute everything into the integral. The limit will now change from 1 to 3. Then we have x is now u squared minus 1. So we make as a subject over here. x will be equal to u squared minus 1. So whatever we see, x we put u squared minus 1. So we have u squared minus 1 over whatever we see root of 1 plus x we put u then now dx whatever we see dx we put 2u du so upon doing this substitution we can now cancel this and this so the 2 is multiplying everything here so this simplifies to become 2 integral of 1 to 3 of u squared minus 1 du. And this will give us 2 times integrate this we get u to the power 3. So u to the power 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1. Then we integrate 1, we get u. And we evaluate from 1 to 3. 1 to 3. So now our integral becomes 2 into bracket root 3 to the power 3 root 3 to the power 3 root 3 over root 3 to the power 3 over 3 
minus root 3 then minus into bracket you put 1 here we get 1 over 3 then minus 1 now we simplify this to obtain this will give us 2 into bracket 2 3 root 3 3 root 3 over 3 minus root 3 minus root 3 then minus 1 over 3 plus 1 now simplify this this and this this becomes root 3 minus root 3 will give us 0 then 1 plus 1 minus 1 over root 3 will give us 2 over root 3 times the 2 we get 4 over root 3 4 over 3